Welcome to Medical Tube. Today we will highlight the topic traumatic lower lip maggot myosis, a rare presentation. But before we jump into our topic, if you are new to our channel, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. For comprehensive insights and additional resources, please refer to the description section of the video. It contains all pertinent details, supplementary links, and further reading material to enhance your understanding. Let's start. Traumatic lower lip maggot myiasis, a rare presentation. Introduction. Maggot myiasis is a condition where the larvae or maggots of certain fly species infest human or animal tissues. While myiasis commonly affects open wounds, ulcerative lesions, or necrotic tissue, its occurrence in the oral cavity, particularly on the lower lip, is exceptionally rare. This condition is most commonly seen in individuals with poor hygiene, those who are debilitated, or in regions where flies are prevalent. Case presentation. A patient presents with a painful, swollen, and ulcerated lower lip. On examination, multiple tiny, wriggling larvae are visible within the wound. The patient may report a history of trauma to the lip, such as a bite, laceration, or an existing ulcer that failed to heal properly. In some cases, the patient might complain of a sensation of movement within the wound, often accompanied by a foul smell due to the necrotic tissue. Pathophysiology maggot myosis occurs when flies, often from the family Califoridae or blowflies, lay eggs in open wounds or necrotic tissue. Upon hatching, the larvae feed on the dead and decaying tissue, exacerbating the wound and leading to further tissue damage. The lower lip, being an exposed and moist area, can become a target if there is an existing wound, especially in environments conducive to fly activity. Clinical features. The primary site of infestation is the lower lip, where the wound appears ulcerated with visible larvae. The patient typically experiences significant pain and discomfort. The lip may be swollen, red, and tender to touch. There might be purulent or serous discharge from the lesion, often accompanied by a foul odor. The most definitive sign is the presence of live maggots within the wound, which can be seen moving when the area is closely inspected. Diagnosis. Diagnosis is primarily clinical, based on the visual identification of larvae in the wound. In some cases, imaging may be used to assess the extent of tissue involvement, especially if deeper structures are suspected to be affected. Treatment. The first step in treatment is the mechanical removal of the maggots. This can be done using forceps under local anesthesia. Irrigation with saline or antiseptic solutions may help flush out any remaining larvae. After removal, the wound should be cleaned thoroughly and dressed with appropriate antimicrobial agents to prevent secondary infections. A course of antibiotics may be prescribed to manage or prevent bacterial infection. Regular follow-up is necessary to monitor wound healing and ensure that no further infestation occurs. Prognosis. With prompt and proper treatment, the prognosis is generally good. However, if left untreated, maggot myiasis can lead to severe tissue destruction, secondary infections, and even systemic complications. Prevention preventive measures include maintaining good personal hygiene, protecting wounds from fly exposure, and promptly treating any open sores or injuries, especially in environments where flies are prevalent. Conclusion Lower lip maggot myosis is a rare and distressing condition that requires immediate medical attention. Awareness of its presentation and appropriate management is essential to prevent complications and ensure a favorable outcome.